Okay, now we're gonna do the urogenital system of the frog. And so the first thing we wanna figure out is, is this frog a boy or a girl? So the first, the main um, landmark that I use for this are these things right here called the fat bodies. And we'll talk about those in a second, but I'm gonna just move them back out of the way. And then I wanna look inside. So remember what I said, this was the spleen. So the spleen is not part of the reproductive system. Um, and it's not part of the digestive system. It's part of the immune system. It produces, um, it's going to filter out red blood cells and it's also going to produce white blood cells. So frogs like us have an immune system. So below the fat bodies, so again, these are the fat bodies. Okay, these are the fat bodies. Right here is going to be its gonad. And this frog here is a girl. It's a female because that right there is its ovary. Now, if I could if I could show you the ovary of a human or the ovary of a pig, you would see that they were much much smaller. So like for the comparison size, the thing that I just removed the spleen, that's about the size of the ovary of a human. Now, compared to its body, that's Compared to this, it's still smaller, and compared to your body, that's pretty pretty small as well. The reason why your ovary is small is because one, you're laying one egg at a time if you're a female. This thing is gonna lay hundreds of eggs at a time. So it has an ovary here, and it has another ovary right here. And then it has what would be the equivalent of your fallopian tubes, move your finger, Gabe, this is the fallopian tube, or also called the oviduct. And then it's not going to have a vagina or a uterus because a uterus is going to be where the baby would grow. And frogs, the babies grow outside of its body. So basically, it just lays its eggs right out through the same opening called the cloaca. So the same one that the, um, the poop or the urine would all go out. So... This is a female, this is the ovary, this is the oviduct. Beam. And then um, attached to that would then be the, um, you know, if I had it over here, I think I, I cut it away would be the bladder. What? Okay, now, pause. Okay, so I removed what was called mesentery from this, and now what I'm holding up right here is the kidney so i can see on the kidney right here that's actually the adrenal gland that produces its adrenaline again it has a pretty big size adrenal gland relative to the size of the frog again you can do that because it's very strong and then if i continue to go down i can see there's a tube here called the ureter it's going to be right at the base of the kidney so this kidney kind of looks like it's like bacon color um, it's like a brownish color. And then again, this tube that goes down through here, that is the ureter, and it's going to be what drains the urine. So the, the urine's going to go from the kidney to the ureter, and then down into the bladder. And then from the bladder, it's going to go out the cloaca. So again, everything as part of the urogenital system, the frog doesn't have a urethra, it doesn't have a vagina, and it doesn't have a rectum. Everything goes out the same thing called a cloaca. And just so you know, like some birds have that, many reptiles have that, but there are also some reptiles and birds that have a penis and a vagina too. So it really just depends on the species. But all frogs and, and amphibians do not have a vagina or penis. They just have the one opening called the cloaca. Okay. Stop. Stop.